Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Going up. And we're already under attack. <laughs> so now, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing you can do about these. They're immune to all of your weapons, except... <laughs> yes, their weakness. It is the bow and arrow. Bye-bye, he toys. Bye bye, Heat Toys. So, while you're here too, you'll notice that there are stone plaques and a treasure chest. But the treasure chest is not quite as important as the stone plaques. It's a pearl necklace! <laughs> so, you'll notice that there's ice which is above here. You know, you shoot them with your with your bow, aim for the eye above, second, aim for the eye above, first, so then you make your notes on your mapper. You know how this works here, aim for the eye above, fourth, and of course, third, so four and three, got it, good, okay, that should be, they're not really aligned with the eye switches, but that should be good enough. <laughs> Make notes of that now, or you will regret it unless you know the, the combinations ahead of time. Of which, you will not regret it, because you will have saved time. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe it is a little bit easier to tackle these duders with the whip. But I'm, I'm just a glutton for puni punishment, I don't know. It Maybe it's, maybe it's not. So you hit the switch, that door opens, you're like, yeah, I could shoot that ice switch over there that's kind of covered by the wall slightly, the graphics, but oh no, oh no, what will we do? Oh, oh, there's a, there's a little firing thing there. Yes, you can pick it up and throw it around, remember that, remember that, remember that? Yeah, you better remember that, otherwise you're going to be stuck here. <laughs> there we go. And a platform appears! <laughs> what can you do with said platform? Well, you can put it on here, of course, which will allow you to get up to this upper area. Yay! But don't forget that arrow thing on the bottom area, because when you come here, you're gonna be like... I, I, what, 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 what's going on over here? This... This is this this puzzle that's on this floor that you're gonna see. It's it's unsolvable. You can see there's a switch that makes these fire geysers pop up, and it just looks like there's there's not enough of anything to do anything over here. Because you gotta hit those switches on the side of this middle pillar, and while you can throw this on there to make it pop up to the top, that isn't gonna do you any good. I mean, there, there isn't enough of anything, as I said. Well, there is. All the answers to the world's mysteries are in this room. But, but, I'm gonna make this shortcut by, back, by the way. <laughs> but you've only gotta look around to places that you've been before. So yeah, grab this, and hop up here. <laughs> I just, I just melted the switch, but don't worry, don't worry, it'll come back. Uh, oh, I, actually, you know what, I could do that in a better demonstration purposes, because I think it'll just appear right before your eyes. There it is! <laughs> so don't worry about losing your switch. Okay, so now that you got two switches here, plop that there, and now what do, now what do you do to get high enough? Well, you grab this... You grab this that's on the fire geyser, but not from there. You grab it from the other side. You grab it from up here while it's on top of the fire geyser. No, don't worry. You won't burn yourself or anything like that. It doesn't make much sense that you can, but don't question it. <laughs> so then grab your bow, get on here, shoot that. And now be prepared to shoot this one first because it's easier doing it this way. Because the time switches a little bit, whoa, a little bit quicker that way because of the cutscene. Cut there we go. Uh, did I really mess that up because of the? <laughs> How did I miss that many times? Oh well. <laughs> Success. You could also do this in a mirrored fashion, like putting this diagonal one facing that way, and then putting this straight one facing this way. That would work just as well too, but. I just did it that way. I got a small key. Woo! And now we can progress. I don't think I need that platform. <laughs> I just hop down there. 
And there we go to get across. By the way, um, I think if you leave that platform up there, you would have to uh, actually reset the room because it doesn't respawn there after you do things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'd have to do this or go in some other door. That, that would be nice too. But this would technically be the first door that you have access to because the other one would be otherwise blocked off through all that puzzling and whatnot because, of, yeah, the key and... Well, actually, no, not actually, come to think of it, no, that's not where the key is used, so no. No, you could use this door, so that was a waste of time to walk around. <laughs> okay, so now remember, remember, the, the only way to open this door is with the key. <laughs> it's still ridiculous that they, that they have that there. It, that's just, that's just gotta be a joke, right? Right? I mean, there's just no way that people have forgotten what keys are used for. There's no way after all this Zelda-ing. <laughs> there's a stamp station over there, but you cannot get that at this angle. So be prepared to hit those switches on the wall on the marks indicated on your map there. Got it? Good. Otherwise, you're just going to be going around here in circles, and you'll be like, what? What am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do here? Can I hit two of these? Like, oh shoot, I just ruined it. I was gonna say, can I hit two of these really quick? Just to speed my way around here. But no, I just ended up wasting more time. <laughs> also, there's a switch over here. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna need to know that for later, and I gotta do that for in terms of failure purposely so that they reset. <sighs> okay, so let's do this. More, a little more careful here. Hit that one there, hit that one there. Did I get it? I think I got it. it sounded like... <laughs> At least it sounded like it hit something solid. I don't know if it I don't know if it worked, though. We'll see, I guess. Um, it worked. Okay, so... Number three, then number four. Ha-ha! <laughs> there we go, and it switches that track around permanently, so you don't have to do that um, in a time sort of manner dealio there. And that switch up there is just if you want to get back over here, basically. Uh, but let's say you didn't know how to get the stamp station. This is the one that's got something different to say, if I recall correctly. So let's just see what it has to say that doesn't have to do with treasure chests. Yes, yes, Song of Awakening, because the other one is somewhere else on this floor. Uh -huh. If you're looking for the stamp station, it's upstairs. Jump in the cart and keep an arrow ready for when you find the switch. So yeah, you gotta have yourself an arrow, hop yourself across there, and prepare to shoot where that crystal switch was that I showed you, somewhere down here. You just gotta look around the room and you'll find it. There we go. And you know I want that stamp station, no matter how many times my face gets scratched along the pavement. <laughs> And boop, there is our fire temple stamp, baby. Oh yeah, feels good. <laughs> so as I was saying about that switch, uh, if you want to go all the way back, you may now... Uh, well, actually, no, you can't. <laughs> it's only when you're going back the other way. Well, it looks like that switch will forever be undemonstrated. Because, yeah, it, yep, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> But yeah, all I'm gonna do is switch the, the path here in case you run out of arrows. Because remember, there was that crystal plant thingy that you'd go that you'd see back there that contains arrows for the puzzle. Yeah, and then you just rinse and repeat. Or, you know, if you didn't write down the numbers, you end up going around in, the, in circles and stuff like that. And then you, yeah, you'd have to go back to where those plaques were to actually write down the numbers, but details. <laughs> Alright, so be prepared to mark down anything that looks like an explosion from Donkey Kong Country on here. There we go. Because those are the switches that you want to hit. And what? What's, what switches that you want to hit? Well, there's going to be switches that you're going to have to hit in real time. So this is going to be something tricky. Got, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, I, I, I jumped the gun there, or I jumped the platform. <laughs> there we go, alright, be prepared to shoot this one, and oops, I was probably shot another arrow there, that's okay, be prepared to shoot that one. Oh wait, actually, that's the wrong, 
Yeah, that's the wrong. Oops, I jumped the gun there too. I panicked and I jumped the gun on my arrowing. <laughs> so yeah, that's why you want to only shoot the correct ones. Yes. Shoot. Oh shoot, I thought I just used my last arrow there. I'll be able to refill at the next area. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> there we go. There. Wait, actually, what happens if you run out of arrows there? Would you just have, like, would you have to go? No, wait, there wasn't there one. Hmm. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't like think much of that. Come to think of it, of, of if you're low on arrows or whatnot. I, I guess you could save and quit and then just start the dungeon from the beginning. Well, not, you wouldn't technically start the dungeon from the beginning. You'd start from the, the front door and then you would come back around. But yeah, I never really thought much of that before. I mean, I always had arrows when I came through here. <laughs> I, didn't, I cut it kind of close there then. <laughs> Dragon scale, yeah! Okay, we don't need anything else over here. And now we can read the plaque saying, carry the boss key by cart. And this is one of the coolest double timed puzzles, I would say, in the game here. So, see this? Yeah, you know how to blow the, the key over to things like that by now using your Gust of Wind trainer card. But now, when you get in this one, both cards start moving, so be prepared to shoot all the switches marked that you marked. Otherwise, you're going to have to restart this puzzle from the beginning. And also shoot the switches late enough that they will be able to carry the cart to their destination. Yeah, but not uh, not too late though, otherwise the, the key's just going to go in the lava with you. And then you're going to have to go back to the start and restart it. And then you are going to be sad. Alright, there we go. It's boss time, but not after, I mean, not before activating our blue light, of course. Step into the blue light to return to the temple entrance. You know that's always here. Alright, refill on stuff. You're gonna need arrows, probably, because, you know, bosses they use, they use a dungeon item. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna use arrows. <laughs> And this is a boss known as Kragma. And this is a really fun boss. You'll see why. Yeah, I am a boss. Fear me. Fear me in all my giant rock glory. <laughs> and so now we wait for it to move its arm up, basically. Yes, now see there's a glowing spot on its belly? You want to shoot that spot, otherwise he's going to just slam his arm down. And if he slams his arm down, there's going to be rocks that'll fall from the ceiling, and you can get arrows from that if he should run out. So that's, I guess, I guess that's sort of mandatory to do, come to think of it. <laughs> but now, now he'll be ticked, and he'll make both of his arms pound the ground like a Yoshi. And why did I break that one? I knew there was going to be hearts in there. And what that does is it causes a meteor to fall from the sky. And you want them to destroy that meteor. Because you know from that other area that uh, makes a platform... Oh, I didn't mean to swing. Well, it's too late now. It doesn't matter. It's not a hard boss or anything anyway. And if he's going to swing, you want to drop that and redirect his swing. Otherwise, he's going to break that. I do believe. So, yeah... So I just leave, let it down, plop it down over there, get on top of I say, get on top of this, and then go... I say, get on top of that and go in the minecart, and then so begin to shoot the glowing spots on his body. <laughs> Maybe I will need those hearts if I do such poor jumps. And when you shoot enough of them, the, the minecart will automatically go up to the next level and shoot the one on the hand, because he's using the hand as a blocker. <laughs> oh, come on, tell me, you're telling me I have to go all the way around to shoot that spot again? Or uh, I should say, have an opportunity to shoot that spot again? Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, there's a lot of these path changer um, uh, bar track thingies there, so don't don't worry about it too much. You'll, you'll get them all on the way around, but if you don't, well, well, they'll, you're just gonna Got to, got to kind of have to wait and you'll automatically go back to the bottom. Well, you need to get some arrows and yeah. 
Alright, so now we gotta wait till he turns around to shoot its eye, or we turn around to shoot its eye, and it might it might decide to block your shots with its hand as well, so shoot its hand and shoot its eye. And anyway, once it's all stunned, you can now finally, finally use your sword like a madman and attack! It's noodle as many times as you possibly can, and then we wait for the cycle to repeat. Although it gets a little bit harder as things go, but... But, well, that's okay with me. We still have the power to do this without much ire. I'm just trying to get a couple of arrows here, just to, just to make things a little bit easier on myself. If at all possible. Uh, arrow drops, arrow drops, come on, RNG. Don't, don't mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 come on! I just want to get back to at like, eight, like 18 arrows. I, I, that's not that's not too much to ask, is it? That's not too much. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we wait to shoot its belly again. There we go. And then we wait for the big pound with both of its fists of anger. Just run. <laughs> yeah, when you want to dodge something, just run. Uh, where is oh? There's the, oh sure now I'm getting the arrow drop sure sure yeah <sighs> I wanted you to hit this that, that's obviously what I want you to hit come on man come on man over there yeah good boy <laughs> ah. and there's of course another arrow drop just to mock me oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot okay get on there oh it missed okay that was a that was a pretty big miss all right. Get to shooting! Get to shooting once again! Just be be aware that it's probably gonna use its hands to block a couple more times than it did before. Just saying, it's just saying that's how things roll with the bosses. And also, I do believe it can also knock you off of this uh, if you're too slow to uh, knock its hands out of the way. So. Be sure to get those suckers out of there, otherwise you might be knocked around like a wet noodle. Okay? Okay. No, no, no I want to shoot... Come on. <laughs> I'm going to run out of arrows before I get to the top. Dang it. Ah! Okay. One more spot. There we go. Well, maybe one more spot, because it might still put up its hand to block its face when I get up top. Oh, it, oh, shoot! Are you serious? Ah! <sighs> I wasted so many arrows. <laughs> yeah, I, I just didn't want to do, do this cycle because it takes forever to go through the whole cycle. Especially since I'm now going to have to uh, redo all this stuff. Great, great. Okay, so there's our meteor. <laughs> it looks looks like a meteor, but now we need some arrow drops to go along with that. Oh sure, now we're not getting any arrow drops whatso whatsoever. Of course, of course, things are just going fantastically. <laughs> and it's all because I ended up missing a couple of times on that uh, the cycles. <clears throat> well, at least I got some got a heart drop there. That's pretty nice. <laughs> That's, you know what, I could also get this set up too, I suppose. It doesn't seem like he uh, cares all that much when the platform is in place, so I guess I'll just plop this over here right away. And there we go. You can put it on either one of those little volcanoes. It'll be, it'll be just fine, by the way. Just make sure that you jump on where it is, otherwise you'll jump in the lava like four times like I did. <laughs> Alright, let's fill up the 20. And then hopefully call it a day with this boss because that was that was truly the last cycle and I I flubbed it, <laughs> or at least it would have been the last cycle. Oh, that platform is, uh, yeah, fine, fine. Oh, okay, you're just gonna do it automatically because your belly is already hurt. That works with me. I mean, that works fine for me. Uh, uh, but I guess the meteor is gonna appear on the farthest end just because it wants to screw with me. <laughs> this RNG, I swear. Just, oop, well, oop, well. Okay, plop that over there. Redirect his attack. Okay, that, that'll do. That'll do. Actually, maybe he can't smash this thing. Maybe it's only the meteor that he can smash. I don't know. Or she. Who knows? I am not sure. 
Don't don't do this again. I, <laughs> don't do this again. <laughs> what, what? What am I even aiming for now? Okay, get on there. Get on there. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I do believe that most of its body things are already plugged up. It's just that you got to shoot the hands. Like, the lava or whatever make that makes its body glow are all plugged up. It's just a matter of shooting its hands now to go over to the next cycle, which means it's use less arrows. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Look at that. So, it's, so, you're, you're, so you don't actually lose progress should you go down to the bottom. But you just kind of lose progress. Come on. So you kind of lose progress. Uh, come, seriously? Just... Jesus, mother of Arceus, just let me shoot the eyeball. Oh my god, I ran out of arrows again. Like, what's with this perspective here that... I mean, I was... I had the... <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut ahead this time, because you've seen how things went. Oh sure, now I take a hit from that. Alright, there we go. It should be the last. Hopefully, if I've learned anything from my flounders. <laughs> Alright, prepare to shoot the hands once again. <sighs> yeah, seriously, this should... Oh, I automatically go up to here, that's nice. Yeah, this seriously should not have taken anywhere close to this long. That was just... This might have been my worst performance on this boss in the history of myself playing this game. <laughs> Alright. Don't flounder on the arrows. There we go. Jesus, Arceus. Mother of Pearl and other sorts of mild profanities. <laughs> All right, attack, 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 this one comes out of the lava itself! I don't know how it doesn't melt because lava is molten rock and that sure looks like rock to me. But again, don't question things. Otherwise, you know, universal implosion and stuff like that, so... Alright, there we go! <laughs> I'm a happy camper and now that I finally beat the boss, even though it was embarrassing and it should have gone much better than that. But alas, alas, it didn't. <laughs> and... <laughs> goes all the way over to the Tower of Spirits, and they're like, eh, we don't even have to show the full cycle of going down the tracks this time. You know what's coming. Although, we didn't know that you knew that some keys, I mean, some doors open with keys. <laughs> also, a slightly different song for fully completing the Tower of Spirits. So enjoy it, because this is the only time you hear it, I think. Woo! Basically just a little high pitched. A little higher pitched, I should say. <laughs> Alright. Oh! You've done it! Way to go, Link! You actually beat that terrifying giant of a monster! Amazing! With it defeated and all the spirit <clears throat> With it defeated, all the spirit tracks should be restored. Let's head back to the Tower of Spirits. The Fire Real Max started glowing. We've got a very small little bit of giblet of Fire Real Map going on there. And there we go. Woo! Just that force gem of giantness gives us all those tracks. Of okay, that's not that's not a lot of tracks at all. <laughs> <laughs> and luckily, after all those flubs, we get our health restored. 
And just just before... Oh, wait, actually, we're going to go down those tracks anyway. I don't have to mark. I was going to say, just before we go down those tracks, I'll mark which tracks to go down. But nah, that, I'll be able to figure it out. It's straightforward enough because they're directly attached to the tower. So with this dungeon complete, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when hopefully things don't take as long as that boss did. Seriously, that should not have taken anywhere close to as long as that did. <laughs> It should have been a 20-minute part, if that. <laughs>